Hi you guys, it is Miss Everly here and we are going to approximate irrational, okay, not rational, irrational roots by hand. And so this is something that's going to be exciting for you because it's something totally new you've never learned. So that's always exciting. Um, now you know irrational roots, if you can think of one off the top of your head, would the square root of 9 be irrational? Hmm, think about it. You probably have an answer in your head of yes or no, hopefully. And in this case, no. Why? Because I can think of a number times itself that'll give me 9. I can think of another one, can you? Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Okay, but we're going to look at roots that aren't rational. So we're going to look at ones that go on and on forever and ever, like pi. So an example of that would be square root of, hmm, there are an infinite number I could pick from, but I'll go with the square root of 19. Okay, so first off in your head, in order to calculate, and we're going to calculate to the nearest, let's say, would you like it if I said millionth? You should be shaking your head. Uh, no. Um, so we're going to go nearest hundredth, okay, by hand. And you'll see what I mean right now about that. So let's try and find, first off, what two whole numbers this answer is going to be in between. So we know the square root of 19 is in between the two perfect squares of... So off the top of your head, you're thinking, okay, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, okay, we're getting close to 19, 5 times 5 is 25, so that's a little too much, and this is a little less than 19. So I can set up a compound inequality, that means two inequalities, and I can say that the square root of 16 is less than the square root of 19, but we also know the square root of 19 is going to be less than the square root of 25, because we know 4 times 4 is 16, and we know 5 times 5 is 25. 25 is too much, 16 is too little. Okay, so now I'm going to take it a step further, because we can actually find the square root of 16 is 4, and let's just stick with the positive answers for now. Um, we only need to work with one of them. So the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 25 is 5. So now I can say the square root of 19 lies between 4 and 5. We can also say whether it's closer to 4 or whether it's closer to 5 just by looking at these numbers. So 16 is how far away from 19? it's three away. Whereas from here to here, how far is that? That's six away. So on a number line, if I were to put the square root of 19 on a number line, I would stick it between the integers of four and five. And since it was only three away from 16, it's going to be closer to four than it is to five. So I'm saying approximately the square root of 19 would go right there. Okay, now to get the actual decimal to the nearest hundredth, here is what you do. So, square root of 19, we said, is how far away from the square root of 16? Well, that was 3 away, right? And it was, do you remember that number? How far away to square root of 25? It was 6. So the total span I have between these two numbers is 9. And the square root of 16 was how far, or square root of 19 was how far away from 16? It was 3. So 3, if you go 3 up from 16 out of the 9 span of numbers from 16 to 25, you will get to 19. So we can use this fraction to approximate the tenths place 
because we already know it's going to be four point something. Something, 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 something. So three ninths, if I were to divide that out, and some of you know what this is as it's decimal equivalency off the top of your head, but if I divide that out, three divided by nine, what am I at? So go ahead and do that division for me and at least get to the hundredth spot there. Go ahead, pause the video, try it, and press play again because I'm going to start. So 3 divided by 9, if you do it, is 0 0.3333, da, 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 da. It's just repeating. So if I were to approximate the square root of 19, I would say it's approximately 4.3 because in point three repeating this tenths place, if I were to round it to the tenths place, it would stay as a three and it would not round up because this is not five or more. So now I'm going to check this 4.3, see how close I am to 19. So I'm going to say it's 4.3 times 4.3 close to 19. How close can I get? <coughs> So I'm going to take 4.3 times 4.3, which is really just doing 43 times 43. So again, go ahead and pause the video, do this multiplication, because I'm going to start. Okay, so I'm at 18.49. We're trying to get really close, as close as we can possibly get to 19. And I said to go to the thousandths place, and right now this is the tenths place. So if I go to the thousandths place, we got an answer of 18.49. When I multiplied 4.3 times 4.3, we got 18.49. So now I'm going to try and think what number should I put in the hundredths to get this to be super close, duper close to 19. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to think in money, that this is really 4.30. And I'm now going to say, should I round this up to 1 to try and get closer to 19? Well, yes, because I need this number to be closer by going up to 19. So now it's a matter of how far up should I go. Should I go all the way up to 4.40? Or do you think I should go halfway between these two at 4.35? Or should I go closer to 4.30 and pick something like 4.33? So at this point, it's all up to you. My intuition telling me to go with this. So I'm going to go ahead and try 4.35 times 4.35 see how close I can get. Can I get 19 to come out of it? So 435, 435. I'm going to multiply it. Again, pause the video. I'm going to start this. Go. All right, so I got 18.9225, okay? So in the last page, we had gotten 18.49, and now we're at 18.9225. So we're getting closer. We are getting closer. Could I get closer than 18.9225? Well, what do you think? Should I take this number and go up or down? Well, I need this to go up, so I'm going to try that 5, and I'm, I'm going to take it one more spot up. It's a tedious process, but it's exciting uh, to know if this next step, if I'm going to get, you know, right on, super close to that 19. I'm trying to get that 19 to come out, so I'm going to go up one more hundredth. Let's go ahead and do this multiplication.
Okay, exciting moment in math world here. I got that 19 to come out. You might say, well, uh, now we're a little bit over. Well, yeah, so that means, okay, now we know that 4.35 was a little was a little bit too low, so it was a little less than what we know the square root of 19 should be. Yet we know the square root of 19 is a little less than what we just did up here, 4.36. But which one was closer when we multiplied 4.36 times 4.36 or 4.35 times 4.35? So remember, we're going to the nearest hundredth. And the one that was closer is this one, by far. So we're going to approximate the square root of 19 to be approximately 4.36. Okay? Whoa. Big long process there. You did it. You made it through one. Now you have to practice 